Rejoicing in Israel after the darkness of recent weeks. The latest group of hostages freed from Gaza wave to supporters as they are welcomed home. Both Israel and Hamas are signaling their deal could be extended to free more of those being held. For reunions like this, after 50 days apart, young hostages finally home. Emily Hand embraced by her father, Thomas, who at one stage believed her dead. Now she is free and he says doing well. Yeah, yesterday we finally got Emily back from the hands of the Gazan terrorists. Uh, she's lost a lot of weight um, from her face and body, uh, but generally doing better than we expected. Hello. Emily's family say they will throw her the biggest birthday party ever. She turned nine in captivity. Abigail Aidan has also been freed. Joe Biden had been pushing for her release. The four-year-old is American-Israeli. Hamas killed both of her parents. Also back in Israel, Yaffa Adar. Since coming home, she has learned her grandson is a captive. This was the 85-year-old being driven away by Hamas, a survivor of the Holocaust taken hostage. Her granddaughter says she is back from hell, strong as ever. Her spirit is still there and she's still looking all of us in the eyes and she's still showing us that uh, she wouldn't let them break her. And, uh, and she's telling us how she thought about us and about the great grandkids at night when it became tough. And she's, she's saying uh, she could hear their voices calling her and that it, she said, OK, I have to I have to push through. I have to do whatever it takes to to be back. Also coming home, Palestinians in their teens freed from Israeli jails. Many children are detained by Israel, the occupying power on charges of throwing stones. In the West Bank, they got a hero's welcome. The green flag of Hamas now flying high. In Gaza, the truce is holding among the ruins. More than 14,000 Palestinians have been killed, according to the Hamas-run health ministry. Many in the international community fear what's to come if Israel's bombardment resumes. Orlegiran, BBC News, Tel Aviv.